Hi, my name's Colin. Welcome to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, let's get started. Hi, welcome to Paint Watercolours with me, Colin. I thought we'd do a, a bridge today and um, put a plain simple sky in, um, put some background trees and um, we'll get started. So in the bottom I'm just going to put some Windsor Yellow. So I'm just going to put a few streaks of uh, cobalt blue, just plain cobalt blue. And then go for some areas. Now, this is a picture that I actually got from paintlinephoto.com. And the photographer is Gary Jones, and it's a stone bridge over the River Owen. I'm not going to put any clouds in, I'm just going to make it really simple because it's mainly all about trees. So in the bottom. This is a 140 pound blocking of paper, it's pre-stretched, and into that. This is just a cadmium yellow light. So it's just a light green made from cadmium yellow light and ultramarine with uh, just a touch of alizarin crimson in it, just to take the glare from it. Same colour again, only with more ultramarine. Into that some burnt sienna and cobalt blue just a drop in the bottom where the bank meets the river just let it all mingle drop some in here it's just about getting colour on the paper at the moment stronger colour of the uh, cad yellow light, ultramarine blue and a little crimson. And just put some shadow sides of the trees. As you can see we've got three distinct trees so I just want to show you this one. That's done. <coughs> just re-wet the whole of the uh, front of the bridge. Uh, just wet a little bit before we just take a little bit of time. Might just drop some Naples Yellow. Draw Sienna. This is just a mixture of um, Burnt Sienna and it's just a cold water blue. the blue with sepia just gently even some out dark in this area gently pulling some out this one just let the paint have its way a damp brush just gently pull some across so I've got some masking fluid on the top to uh, separate it from the trees just use some grey Sorry. 
soften off the uh, edges and we're going to leave that to dry. Then with the dry brush technique, this is just some cobalt blue and I've just taken some of the excess paint off the, the brush and we're just going to drag it across just to create some sparkle in the lower part of this river. And on this side. Tiny touch of green, and the green is made up of the same colour as the trees, um, cadmium yellow lights with um, ultramarine, and some olives and crimson just to take the grey out of it. Back to your real dark mixture of Prussian blue and sepia, and we're just going to paint in the underside of the bridge, reddish in shadow. Over oh, the base of the bridge, we're just going to put this in with uh, cadmium yellow deep and uh, indigo with a little bit of uh, alizarin crimson. Make it two strengths, a lighter one and a darker one. And it's alright just to feed a little bit of that dark colouring underneath the bridge to add a touch more of the shadow of that brush. I'm going to put the rest of the stonework in on this bridge, and this is the mixture French ultramarine, cadmium yellow light, touch of alizarin crimson. I'm just going to put some extra stonework in, and we're just going to keep alternating the colours between the dark and the mossy coloured ones, so they're not all the same. So that's the thing. So we'll turn the camera off. Welcome back, hopefully you've got uh, your bridge to look like that. Uh, we're just moving into these fir trees here that have still got the uh, masking fluid on them. And we're just going to build them up slowly. This is the indigo, cadmium yellow, deep. With some sepia, just to darken it with some indigo and some sepia and just put some bark <coughs> onto these trees into this one all the way up and this one once you've got the bark on like that just turn your, your board round and with a rigger brush or a small Bigger, you can then start to add the individual branches. Now I'm still using the uh, same mixture of Prussian blue and sepia. Just to give a few indications, same on this one. time in the world at home. Once you put a few branches in we'll move on to the really dark green and we'll just continue just to darken up on the underside of some of this foliage. This is indigo and sepia with a touch of up. Okay we're now come to the river and I've just re-wet the whole of the area all the way up to that line there and I'm going to put some cobalt blue in that's in the sky and this is a slow moving river up to this point but it drops over a little tiny weir 
on the opposite side by the opposite bolster. too much reflection. Just let the sun basically overhead and it will help with your painting. It doesn't have to be so complicated. shadow in from the, the bridge which is here which we will just mirror in here a little bit again this is water on the paper it will fade going to leave that to dry a moment or two. Only a couple of things left to do now. I'll just uh, strengthen the shoreline up here with some burnt sienna with a touch of ultramarine in. Softening it back. All going in the same direction. You can call this one finished. I've just added a figure and I've signed it. And what we're going to do when it's completely dry is put some wind streaks in across the river. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click the like button and you're most welcome to subscribe. Okay, that's the completed painting. I've uh, put some wind lines in using a small craft knife and just skip couple of reads in there as well. Uh, I'd just like to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.